Hey you guys, what's going on? And welcome to another vlog. Now, it's bright, I can't see. So, I'll s got a little story to tell you. So, I was sleeping in this morning. Um, Cause I'm not gonna work today, I'm working to start tomorrow. Um, and I was asleep and like, got a phone call from my mom and she's been driving the super ram she called me she's like hey i'm outside uh she's like i tried starting your truck and man noise i turned it off and like smoke came out from the hood like you never want to get a phone call like that when you were half asleep so i jumped up fast got ready came out she and the truck they got a 5.9 magnum in them both of them does the super rim does too i've had this happen before 5.9 magnum the v8s will go forever they will run forever as long as you put good gas and like injector cleaner in well i haven't been driving super Ram, so i haven't been i haven't been putting injector cleaner in it because why well, i've been driving it so when i fill it up i usually put injector cleaner in it. well that's what happened so basically it flooded itself so i got in it tried starting it wouldn't start so I took the big truck well the big truck this is a project truck project truck only that's what I got it for because I wasn't gonna drive it and everything well apparently I'm driving it because she's still got mine because she hasn't got her something yet she uh, so we got in here and I said because she can't drive this we got in truck wouldn't start I'm like you gotta be kidding me two trucks like Dodge what's going on <laughs> and the where this one's lifted, I've got to adjust the shift mount uh, linkage because sometimes you got to put a neutral start, sometimes you got to pull up on it. So I finally got started. Went to Walmart, dropped her off, had to get some injector cleaner and everything. Came out, the truck wouldn't start. Fuel pump wouldn't kick on, the lights wouldn't work. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. What the heck is going on? This is like the worst Monday ever. So I got out, I was like, it's gotta be a battery term. Battery wouldn't go out dead that fast. Went there, fit familiar with the battery terminal somebody parked so close where i had trouble getting up in this because it's lifted because i don't have running boards finally got the truck started i'm like well there's a plus came home put i got gas in a can put in here with some injector cleaner and it still won't start so i'm thinking i might have to replace the plugs because one of them might have fouled out but i'm gonna try to start one more time no luck then we'll go get some plugs because i don't want to sit there and crank 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 starter and burst start up because that's like a hundred bucks right there because I know how to put one on because I had to do it for this one. So let's try it. Hopefully it works. Bad. I hate you having to replace plugs. Like I replaced them in it probably two years ago. It's got to do wires and everything on it. It's just the plugs. There's a plug in the back. It is a pain to get to because you got the brake booster in the way. But the rest of the plugs ain't that bad. Of course, it's a V8, so got to have that freaking eight plugs. At least they ain't the Hemi. The Hemi comes with like, what, 16, I think? One, a certain type of Hemi. All right, so I guess we'll have to go get some plugs. All right, guys, so we just got back. Well, we're on our way from AutoZone. I had to get some spark plug wrenches, spark plugs. Thank goodness for my cousin and uncle. All right, so we just got back. We got some plugs. I didn't plan on my Monday morning doing this, but you know, it's, things happen. They really do. Got some, I got, I couldn't find all my wrenches and stuff. I have this tool, these, these are weird. And um, so I bought these and stuff, so hopefully they work out. Just gonna take the time and change them and everything. So let's get started. Remember I said you could smell gas real bad and I thought plug my fell. Well, this one is soaked in gas. And all the plugs didn't look too inviting. So this one's soaked in gas. So I think new plugs will solve it, which I'm hoping it will. It cost me like $20 for a plug wrench and spark plugs, which ain't too bad. So this should solve our problem. I got three in, five more to go. All right, guys. <sighs> this is it. Will it start? Now you've seen what I did before, so I'm hoping it starts.
believe it's running! Alright, so we're going to have to ride to get my cousin his car planer back because he left it here. So let's go! It's alive! You can see it. I'm so happy. Like, I love this truck and it's like I'm so happy. So let's go! The Super Rams running and stuff, I had to bring my cousin his uh, uh, starting fluid back. And since we're, since you're, we're talking about like projects and stuff, he's got like the biggest project of everybody on there right now. Check this out. Alright guys, so we just left my cousins. I had to take the stuff back and I just stayed out there and talked to them for a little bit. So we are going to run back to the house and um, I gotta put my tools up. It's like if I don't put my tools up, I have to use them. So they're in the shop, but if I don't put them up, it kills me. It literally kills me. I can't stand not having tools and stuff to put up. So let's head on to the house. Alright guys. So cousin gave me some candy too. Uh left over like my cousin's sister which is also my cousin she makes like 30 pounds worth of candy and stuff she gives them everybody for christmas and i mean they make good candy and it's like my cousin's like hey here he's like here have some so i'm like okay because i love candy too so i'm gonna eat some but uh i just checked the fluid and uh the transmissions and everything the big truck i've got to order a uh um some new terminals I'll probably order like I have for the super ram because I will put an amp and air thing in the uh, big truck later on stuff down the line but uh I think today was pretty productive like the super ram starts up good now and stuff which I knew what I had a feeling it was a spark plug so I was going to replace them anyways just to make sure that was like one of the limit elimination things but it wasn't that bad or anything like it was because I did buy the right tools I need because last time I had a crap wrench and everything. So we had the right stuff this time. So pretty happy that we got everything changed. So I'll be able to take it to go pick my mother up because I did have to take her because she don't like she don't want to drive the big truck, which I wouldn't let her because the steering is still real temperamental and everything. So I guess we're done with the outside today. Uh,